So here we are at the end of the second masterclass about building teams for the long term, anti-fragile teams. And I wanted to summarize and share these closing thoughts about all the content I have shared in this masterclass. What are the main things for you to remember? So really, your role as a team lead, your main responsibility is not to create the games, the amazing games, but is to build the environment for amazing teams to create amazing games. And that's where the big difference is. Your focus is on the environment, the culture of the studio. And what does it imply when you are focusing on a studio environment? First is really defining, clarifying the mission, crystal clear, repeating and reminding it to the team. Second is on the ways of working, defining what are the behaviors you support in the studio, what are the processes, the things that will support the mission. Third, what are your team values? What are the core values that makes your team a team? What are the things that are really important for you as a leader in your personal life as well that you want to support and embrace in your work and in your studio? And at last, what are the roles and responsibility that are in your studio to make it clear for everybody to have a context on what they're working and why? And in the end, the whole goal of this, by defining all of this, is to have this anti-fragile team that will go from the beginning of the journey until the end, or what we call an end, to what is your real mission to deliver this or these great games that will make a difference in the world. And for that, you need to stay long enough in the journey for it to happen. So. I hope then all the materials in this class will really help you rethink how to build a team for the long-term game to make an impact in the world. Good luck.